Well, hello and welcome back. Thanks for coming back. If you're wondering where we are, we're right at the very, very start of Bar Street. And there's one or two bars around us. Just over there is the Aces Bar. And that's a very, very popular bar if you're in downtown Cato, Australia, and your name's Maria, because you've got a cousin that runs that bar. But this, technically, is the start of Bar Street. And there's one or two developments going on so don't click off just yet. Don't forget to come with us. But before we do, I'm going to introduce you to the most beautiful woman in the world. And of course, her name is Miss Archin Gracevia Labouf. Hello, everybody. How nice to see you again and again. Here, somebody writes, Epaphos Alasi. It means Paphos is changing. Ah. And I can see the changing. If anything, you could... Put your camera around left, right, right, blah, 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 and then... <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> Paphos is a change in. It's going to go from being, well, a bit of a scruffy place, shall we say, and as time goes on, that's what's going to develop, and that's what's going to happen on Bar Street. So come with us and let us see some of the ups and the downs on the most famous street in Paphos, which is Bar Street. Just over yonder, if you want to rent a car, there's a rental place there which closed in the winter but it opens up in the summer. To the rear of that is the Sofiana Beach Resort. And of course, that's a very, very popular hotel indeed. But as we were saying, along here, most of these buildings now have been bought and they are going to be rejuvenated. And that's some of the mock ups that's going to happen to the dilapidated department block behind the boards. So, Paphos Bar Street is going to get that a little bit better. Let's keep going and see what's going on because just over yonder there are one or two bars and restaurants that are functioning. This one is called Different. Again, in the summer season, that place is packed to the rafters. Grosibia we'll Labouf? One of the improvement of that, uh, that path of is changing, it's that one, I can observe it now. Mm. I wouldn't say that I like it. Well, I think that's what Paphos was like. There we go. That's showing in the old town. There was a building like that, and now it looks like that. And if you go hunting back in our back catalogue, you will find us storming that little precinct in the old town, especially for you. One of the major developers that's doing all this, by the way, is called Blue Island. These are the guys that are popping up big, fancy, ultra-modern looking apartment blocks in and around the Keta Paphos and of course the Paphos district. And they're showing you some of the pictures of the before and the afters of some of their projects. Feast your eyes and digest. That's how an area in the old town once looked, and that's how it looks now. And that is that precinct in the old town. So let's wish Blue Island, who only do art, some very, very good look indeed, because there's a lot of improvements to be done on this street in particular. What's that place called, Grosimi? Zembilas. Zembilas. And that's a very, very good takeaway indeed. I've eaten there quite a few times. Again, now it's closed for the season, but on a Friday and a Saturday night it opens up. And if you want to feast your eyes and have a little bit of a delight, there's some of their very, very reasonable prices. And you may have noticed, if your name's Lady Andrea, they're not advertising Pepsi. They sell the real thing. Coca-Cola at €2. Euros. If you want a mixed kebab, €7. Euros. If you want a hamburger... Six euros, chicken burger. Hamburger's only four euros, sorry. Chicken burger, six euro, and a cheeseburger at seven. That's a bargain. Um, I haven't been here before. You have? I have, yes. You have? Yes. And this place, yeah, it's been renovated, sort of like that. Before mm. it wasn't uh, this place. Yeah, never mind. Uh, Miss Andre, you can like uh, Pepsi, but Mr. Paul always like Coke. He does indeed only coca-cola for me there's a little sign on the window winter hours it's open from five until five thirty in the morning so they're expecting you to have a sup on a pint or two and then pop in there and perhaps sample one of their mixed kebabs what's going on over there that's the rainbow club and that's where you go underground and of course then you can dance the nights away that's the caliente lounge and shiska bar on the very very corner and then just over here perhaps if your name's my m maggie baywatch and it's waiting especially for you 
Let's keep going. Bar Street is about to commence. Like I say, that was the start of Bar Street. There's a lot of confusion. Often people think that this is the start of Bar Street. No, it's not. Right at the far end. Now, we're going to have a little chat with the boss of this restaurant and see what he's got to say. Because he's looking for business. There's no doubt about that. an angry he doesn't have hangover he has put over put over yes he has indeed there is a little pussycat he's in charge of this end of bar street and he's waiting especially for you perhaps if you're in downtown Blatislava and your name's Lord Damon Ritchie and there's a beauty in your life called Lady Suska perhaps we can adopt this cat especially for you poor one I don't know now if anybody feeding him. Next time when we come here, we will feed him. We will indeed. Yeah. Say Yasu to the Kumbaru. Oh. And he's the guy in charge of the Beautiful midsection of Bar Street. He is. He's cute. Look at the, He thinks this is a lovely white yes. cat. Because it's a... Uh, oh. He is a nice one. Let's have a little chat with him and see if perhaps he wants to come home with us. No, he doesn't. He's not so keen. He wants to look after his bar. That's what he says. Do you want to stay here? Huh? Mr. Paul feeding all his cats very well, even me. <laughs> and he is well. He's a kitten, I think. He's yes. very young. He or she. How do this, you check normally? Well, we're not going to go and have a fiddle around with his Google back end. Bells. We're not fiddling with his tackle. Not today. Let's have a quick look. What's he got? What you got around the back end, young man? Let's have a look. No, it's a girl. Oh, it's a girl. There we are. It's a girl. That's why she's so cute and an absolute That's beauty. That's why she's so meowing. Is she? She is That's an absolute why. beauty. We're going to call her the Shishki on Bar Street. Beautiful. Yes, very beautiful. Let's keep going. We've been diverted. You've got the Democritus restaurant on the right-hand side. Great, great restaurant if you want to go and eat. But if you're from downtown Newcastle and your name is Mr. Craig and there's a beauty in your life called Miss Lisa. Look at that. That's the Alconi Taverna restaurant and it's waiting especially for you. If you want one of the best meat mezes in Papos, I'm telling you what, this restaurant has got to be the one to come and spend your money. If you don't want a meat meze, they do a fish meze, but they've also got some set menus and of course an a la carte menu as well. Kicking off at $16.95 ahead, all the way up to $21.95. Set menu, and of course, you get a free craft of wine or perhaps a beer or two. Over the road is Robin Hood. Robin it's one of your Hood, favorite Robin places. Hood. The Robin was doing the good things on the uh, Robin. He was indeed. Well, he was robbing people to, should we say, line his own pocket and perhaps helping one or two of the poor. This is the Tropical Nights Bar, which is having a refurb. The rumor had it it was going to open for this summer, but it didn't. What went on, we don't know, but we'll find out as time goes on. But we're pretty sure that it'll open up next year, especially for you. On the other side of the road is the Red Lion Bar, and that's now got a shishka part as well. And again, a VIP club where you go underground and do all sorts of naughty things like dance and canoodle in downtown Kedapathos. Canoodle like uh, Jason and Rachel, nobody can Ooh, canoodle. Oh, they're like canoodlers. That. They're canoodlers. Lady Rachel in downtown York, and of course that Cheshire cat grinning man, Sir Jason. Canoodle the day away. This is the little church on the Kedipaphos Bar Street, and of course, if you've committed one of those two of those sins, if your name is Lady Rachel, and of course, Sir Jason, perhaps you could pop in there, light a candle or two. And you never know, God may forgive you. Probably not. Let's keep going. We are to the rear of the Dionysus Central Hotel, by the way. You can actually get a rear inland facing room and you haven't got to travel that far if you want to get to Bar Street. Now, if your name is Lady Sally Bryers and there's only a Mr. Matt Dyers because of course he's been demoted because he hasn't actually proposed yet, that is Flair's Bar. The biggest bar, the busiest bar in the whole of Paphos, and that bar stays open all year round and kicks into life from around about 6 p.m. at night. And of course, on a Friday and a Saturday, it really is a crescendo. Look at that. Cocktails galore. Two for one. Pretty much everything is seven euros. So if you want a pina colada, seven euros, but you get two. Wow. Look at this. Vodka mixes. 
Oh my goodness, if you want to get drunk, this has got to be that special, special bar for you. And of course, if your name is Sir Martin, and there's a girl in your life called Lady Victoria, and you like to canoodle and corrupt our princess, Princess Tracy, this is the bar where you came to. Shall we see the Christmas tree? We shall indeed. We'll go and have an inspection of the Christmas decorations in the Flares Bar, especially for you. That's not a bad tree, is it? We should pack like that up. Big balls. <laughs> she does indeed. I like, I like these big balls. You like that big one there? Yeah. What about that big one? No, these are the red, you know, you like the red ones. Wow, so beautiful balls. <laughs> I think so. You're laughing. We're calling them balls. There you go. I don't mind how you call it, but we call it balls. <gasps> wow, and the small balls. And the small balls as well. There we are. They are so beautiful. I would open it a bit more and put it like that. There we are. This is the Christmas tree in the Flares Bar, especially for Lady Sally. Feast your eyes and digest. Imagine when all the lights are flickering and the music is playing, this must be a great, great place to come on a Friday and Saturday and this night. this one, how you call it in English? Hold on a minute, let me just check what it is. Yes. Oh, I see, yes, yeah, snowflakes. The snowflakes. snowflakes all hanging from the ceiling and a big, big star or two. Unfortunately, we are missing the snow. I think not in this country. But somewhere in the mountains, you can have that happiness, by the way. Well, you can. If you're in downtown Krakow, the wheel's spinning on the snow. Now, I've noticed something over here. Someone has dropped off some deliveries. Look at that. There's a bottle or two. Imagine if you were in the UK, if you left all these in open air. I'm pretty sure that one or two of these would be finding a way under the arm and going, well, somewhere else, shall we say. If it was in Georgia or Russia, it would be both boxes gone. They wouldn't leave for you anything, by the way. Nothing, no. just nothing. Yeah. So it shows you what a safe place Patfoss is. People go around spreading rumours about bits and bobs, but I can promise you the crime in Patfoss is very, very low indeed. Bar Strait is a great place to come, and you're only going to have a good time. Obviously, if you're looking for trouble... Well, you can find that anywhere, even in downtown Rithin, where I'm from. Now, if you want to do a bit of boogie woogie 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 in, there's a karaoke club over there waiting especially for you. And when you've finished burning off those calories, next door you've got Out of Africa. And they do a great, great pork kebab. And right across the road is one of their rivals. Look at that. But, of course, they're owned actually by the same gentlemen and the staff in there are absolutely spectacular and of course if you hunt back in our previous videos along bar street you're going to find us chatting to the staff and of course chatting to the owner who just happens to be a big bird yes and he is called charlie got some great food by the way let's go have a quick look and give you some close-ups of some of their food if you want a salty crepe well that could be the special one for you if you want a sweet crepe with a bit of chocolate that could be the one or if you want some kind of kebab this is the place to come and i come here once or twice every month to get a pizza because i believe that the pizza in this particular restaurant is the best pizza in the whole of Paphos. Now there's a superstar all the way up in downtown Scotland and she came here and she's a chef. Karine, that is to remind you of your pizza that you had in downtown Paphos. And of course you'll be coming back again soon and doing it all over again. Grisula Booth is dancing and she is prancing on the terrace. Again, there is one shop is half open, half closed. You would realize some, I don't know, they did forget it on purpose. Oh, no, you never forget it on purpose. They did leave it on purpose or just forget it by accident because there is something yes, to be there is taken indeed. as well. Again, there is a window open over there. As you can see, you haven't got to do a lot to get in there. So again, it just reminds you just how nice and how safe Paphos is. Across the road is the Bubbles Cocktail Bar. And again, that kicks into life. If you look carefully, you can see this gentleman mopping the floors. And of course, in another few hours, it will be kicking into life and everybody will be dancing and they'll be prancing up and down Bar Street in downtown Kedopathos. Now, as we proceed, this, should we say, is the less salubrious part 
of Bar Street. But, slowly but surely, it is going to be refurbished. And tourists, they're knocking seven bells out of their building and making sure that it's perfect for the next season. Rumour has it that this particular building over here with the wood facade on the front is going to be given a lick of paint and that's going to reboot and open up. And then just over there is a kiosk and it goes on and on. But this is the scruffy part. But some of these buildings have been bought again by Island Blue and they are going to be redeveloped. Restaurants, some shops and they're going to add another story and make some rather nice apartments. Hopefully they make some good sound insulation. But one thing's for sure, the top floor when they build it is going to have a spectacularity of a view indeed. Straight over the rooftops and straight out into the abyss of the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. By the way, using the moment, I would like to say a big, big thank you to our dearest Sylvie and Arnaldo for the company not long ago. And we would like to tell them many, many thanks for the lovely company, for that very beautiful lunch and the lovely words that you did say towards us and our channel. We will be growing and you're giving us motivation to go on. Thank you very much for that. Yes, indeed, Sylvie and Aldo, we know you're on your way back to Nice and downtown Courtesieux, south of France, but we know you'll be coming back in January and then fully re relocating in March or April. We'll be waiting for you and we'll return the favour and buy you a drink or two and maybe a lunch in McDonald's. Maybe even push the boat out and go to KFC. But thank you, thank you very, very much for the sea bass and the company above all else. We had a great, great time. It was amazing that we got there by 12.30 and we didn't leave there until 7.30. Wow, that shows you just how nice you are. Thank you very, very much indeed. This is Bar Street, perhaps not at its very, very best, but don't worry, if you come back next season, it's going to be that little bit better. I'm going to say thanks for watching. If you like what you see, hit the like, click that subscribe, and don't forget to come back for a little bit more of our complete and utter madness. And while you're at it, why not hunt us down on the Buy Me A Coffee platform. That's a totally safe and secure platform where you can gift content creators like myself and Marika that little virtual coffee or two. We'll change it into benzene, sunglasses, coffees, whatever we might fancy on that day. And we thank you very, very much indeed for each and every one of you that does choose to join us as Supertar members or buy us that coffee or two. As we continue, there's not a lot to talk about, but on the very, very end is the keg and barrel. Very, very popular restaurant bar, pub, whatever you might want to call it, in downtown Keda Pathos. Across the road to that is Memories. And of course, right at the cusp of Bar Street is T&J's Fish and Chip Shop. And there's no doubt that T&J's is the best fish and chip shop in the whole of Pathos. You can do takeaway, dine-in. The service is absolutely spectacular. The fish is perfect. The batter is perfect. And the chips, mmm, cooked to perfection. And on top of all of that, they only sell Coca-Cola. None of that Pepsi rubbish is allowed in there. True Mancunians, true Yorkshire people that know Coca-Cola is the number one. As for me, I wouldn't make difference in between Pepsi and Coke. Uh, that's because they, they taste dip, not different, the same, um, those two drinks, for me because I'm not uh, obviously that expert as Mr. Paul is. But, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the face of Mr. Paul, our dearest Andrea, hmm, what should I say? Mm, just, I've seen better days, better faces on his face, by the way. <laughs> if you want to rent a car on Bar Street, perhaps if you are still sober, Pentaris Rentals is waiting especially for you. Good quality cars, good service at a fair price. So if you want to drive yourself just down to the keg on barrel here on the left hand side, that could be the place to stop off. Memory bars, they like to feed the cats by the way and of course lots of people have a great great time in there. Tattoo artist and of course T&J's and that means we are at the end of Bar Street. I'm going to say thanks for watching. If you like what you see, hit the like. Click that subscribe and don't forget to come back for a little bit more of our complete and utter madness.
and I would like to thank you as well to tell you how much we're loving you. Thanks for standing by us. We're loving you and kissing you from the bottom of our two Thanks for watching and of course we'll see you again very very soon indeed. Why did I take this jacket? I look like a sheep. You do look like a sheep. I got a pair of wellies in the boots. I'll just wellies? go and get them. What is wellies? Wellington boots. You have to translate. A little bit later. Thanks for watching. She might get a doggy in the end.